All right, we're in the greenhouse. I did notice a ripe, I believe this is a, it's either I-258 or Genevieve Snero. Let's see what the tag says down here. Genevieve Snero, I still believe that they're the same thing. Nice drop of honey forming on this one. Perfectly ripe. I mean, that's the way you want to get them. They're starting to wrinkle a little bit. You don't get many of these in Pennsylvania this way. Uh, they tend to go bad, either due to rain or the birds get them. But in the greenhouse, all sorts of things can happen. So let's go crack this sucker open. All right, not going to lie, I have high hopes for this one. If it's not beautiful inside, I'm going to be a little bit upset. Oh, it looks fan freaking tastic That is utterly perfect. Perfect ripening, in my opinion. Started to dehydrate a little bit, concentrates those sugars. Now, Black Madeira is the one fig that I don't care for it to be super ripe. I actually like it a little firm. But look at this. My goodness, does that look good. I am excited to give this a try. Hmm. Ridiculously good. Oh my god. Best fig of the year, by far. Just letting it get to that sugary ripeness. It's like candy. This isn't a refreshing, let me have a little snack today, you know, with a bowl of cereal. This is, I want dessert, what am I going to eat? I think I'm going to eat a dehydrated Genovese Nero. Oh my god, that is amazing. Oh, I'm looking forward to more of these out of the greenhouse. This is this must be what people in California get to eat, where they dehydrate them on the trees, and they get nice and thick and gooey. So unbelievably delicious. Absolutely great fig. Genevieve Snero.